Good afternoon and happy Tuesday to you, my great friends of Southern West Virginia. Thanks for making me part of your midday. I'm Lake Lewis Jr. And as you can tell, we have a, an esteemed guest joining us here in studio and he really needs no introduction. But just in case, we have Governor Jim Justice. How are you doing, Governor? Lake, I'm doing great. I hope you are. And thank you so much for all you do every day. I appreciate you making time to join us out of your busy schedule. and. Next week's a big day for a lot of people, not just nationwide, but here in West Virginia in the Mountain State. Midterm elections are coming up and there's a couple of important things that you've been making the, the rounds about and the mm -hmm. Amendment 2. So let, let's talk about that. Why is Amendment 2 so important to you? Well, like to, to just tell this like it is, uh, you know, in July, we tried to get a 10 percent tax cut mm -hmm. to where we were put. We would put two hundred and fifty four million dollars in the hands of our people. The House passed it immediately in a special session, and then it just stopped in the Senate. And I thought, well, what in the world is going on? I mean, you know, you've got Republican majorities, and they love tax breaks. What in the world's going on? And so the deeper I dug, the worse it got. And really and truly, this amendment, too, you've been tricked. The people have been tricked and not represented correctly. You've been told that this is about getting rid of your car tax. And I've got a way to be able to do that in a rebate program that'll just do that instantaneously. And it'll be gone forever. Your car tax is not an issue on Amendment 2 at all. What's on Amendment 2 is changing the Constitution. Mm -hmm. And if you change the Constitution, you're taking all local control away and giving all the control to Charleston. Who's going to win in a, if Amendment 2 passes? It's the big, giant corporations. It's the guy that's sitting right here, Jim Justice. Jim Justice is going to win, win to the tune of millions of dollars, and he's sitting here telling you don't do it. Now, who's going to lose? Well, I promise you who's going to lose is the sports leagues and the seniors and the police and the firemen and all the stuff the counties do. Because there will be a time when we go upside down. Mm -hmm. And when we go upside down, the only thing that can happen is the counties will have to be cut. Right. And their services will be cut. And every year in February, like it or not like it, the counties will line up and go down and beg for money. And that's not right. You have a guaranteed income stream today, and absolutely this is not anything to do with your car tax. Car tax is gone. This is to do about your independence, your rights. It's been in place for 90 years. And lastly, if that isn't bad enough, what will happen on top of all that is when the counties come up really short, they'll have no recourse but to raise the assessment values or percentages and raise your property taxes. There's no other way. And so I just think it's bad. Well, you, you mentioned that the first thing you were going to do is pass that, you know, as far as the uh, car taxes. That's so right. how are you so certain and, and confident that that'll get done? Because they're not suicidal. Mm -hmm. They've tried to trick you right now, and they've got the people mad. First of all, I don't believe this is going to pass. But secondly, you know, and if it doesn't pass, then the first thing that goes up is my bill to rebate all the people their money back from all the way back to January. Okay. There's not a possibility that there's a delegate or a senator that's going to vote against that. Because if they do, the public will go completely crazy and everything. There is no way the tax that on your cars is gone. That's gone for sure. It, it, we had uh, Jack Woodrum on, you know, Senator, and sure. he mentioned that the, there's increased revenues, of course, but the budget it was flat. I, your take to that would be? Well, I like Jack. Mm -hmm. But the problem with, with uh, the senators is just one thing that's just happening. Robert Carnes, who's a great senator and everything, decided, I really voted for this before, but I'm going to now think justice is doing it right. They took his office and put him in a closet. Mm. <laughs> and they're taking all of his committee appointments and everything away. Mm. They're afraid. They're afraid of the leadership. And they all fall in line like a bunch of sheep. Jack, from his standpoint, to believe, if you believe this, you know, you've got to be crazy to believe that you're going to have a flat budget forever in West Virginia. Dupe's not going to happen at some point in time. All right. Are you kidding me? Does it happen in your house? Does it happen anywhere? I mean, it's absolutely just going to blow up pay raises or TEI or Medicaid or matching dollars to the federal government to get real money for highways or on and on and on. You can't possibly believe that we're going to stay flat forever. 
Well, Governor Justice, I, I could do this all day with you, and, and I greatly appreciate you making time to join us today. Right. we got to get you back on, you know, for, stay on a little bit longer with us. Like, listen, this is plenty of time for me, and I thank you all so much, and I really mean it. You know, it, I go back a long, long, long way, you know, with this television station, that's for sure. I grew up with it. That's all there's to it. Awesome. Nice of you. Thank you so much.